How about a little story before bed? Yay! Story time! Once upon a time in a kingdom far away lived a brave king and his beautiful daughter. But then a giant climbed the tower to her bedroom window and kidnapped the princess. Boring! What? Why doesn't the giant kidnap the king for once? But who's going to save the king, then? The princess, of course. Morphle! And Morphle. Well, fine. The giant kidnapped the king and ran off with him. Help! Oh, princess, save me! <sighs> oh, no! We need to stop that giant! Morphle, morph into a suit of armor. Perfect. Now you can save the king. No, we need a sword first. Magic sword. Yeah, a magic sword. But the giant is getting away. Hmm, I know. There's a magic sword stuck in a rock over there. <gasps> Amazing! Wow! Did you see that? Okay. So what's so magical about it? It can defeat any monster by making a rainbow! So they will be happy! What? Ooh! Oh! We're sorry, everyone. We were stealing your stuff while you were busy. Until we saw this pretty rainbow. We don't want to be bad anymore. Oh, all right. But how will you find the king now? The giant is long gone. Hmm. You could ask the dragon. Yeah, the dragon should know. No, you have to find the giant. This story is about a giant. Take my horse to visit the dragon. Well, thank you very much. Ah, <sighs> fine. To the dragon! But do you even know where the dragon lives? Well, over there, of course. Are you sure you want to go in? It sounds s s scary. The princess couldn't see anything. It was way too dark in the dragon's cave. Hello? So she decided to go out and find the giant. But first, the princess's magic sword lit up the cave. Okay, okay, nice trick. So you probably want to know where the giant lives? You should go to the mountain next door. Really? The mountain where the witch lives? So we visit her first? Okay. Go to witch! Oh no. Here's the witch. Go ask her. Well, hello there. Hello, Mrs. Witch. We are looking for the giant. Can you help us find him? Yes, I definitely know where he lives. Take a few steps back, my dear. A little more, please. <laughs> Yes, the giant's castle. And there's the giant. He is so big and scary. You need to save me, princess. But you'll have to defeat me first. And then the princess made the prettiest rainbow anybody had ever seen and turned the giant from bad to good. What? 
celebrate. Yay! I'm saved. <sighs> I guess with that, the story is done. <sighs> that was the best story ever, Daddy. You really think so? Can you tell us another story? Well, I can tell you another one tomorrow, but now it's time to sleep. In your sleep, you will be able to dream up any story you like. Come, Morpho. Let's go on a great adventure. Let's go get some ice cream, Morpho. Ice cream! Morph into a bus. Me land Morphle. These two monkeys got away again and need to get back to the zoo as soon as possible. Could you take us there? Uh, sure. Morphle, morph into a bigger bus. Thank you so much, Morpho the Bus. And you two need to get back to your rock very quickly. Ice cream now? <laughs> yeah! Mila, Morpho, Sarah and I are late for basketball practice. Can you please drive us there? Please. Okay. Let's go, Morpho. <laughs> You're exactly on time. Thanks to Morphle. Thank you, Morphle. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. <laughs> We're finally at the ice cream truck. Hi, kids. What kind of flavor can I get to you today? Hmm, I think I would like... Mila, Morphle, there you are. Telefox has the magic pet flu and needs to be taken to the hospital. Can you take us there? Rock. 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 Aww. We'll get some ice cream afterwards for sure. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'll see you uh, soon. Huh? <laughs> Why did you take us here, M Morphle? Has the hospital moved? Morphle not drive here? Hmm, that must mean Telefox teleported us here when he sneezed. Ah, th th that must be because of the magic pet flu. <sighs> I'm sorry, Morphle. It's okay. <sighs> okay, we need to get to the hospital quickly. Morphle, morph into a flying bus. Box must have wanted to go to a warm place. But not to a hospital. Definitely no hospital here. I've never heard of a hospital underwater. There's no hospital here. But the tree that carries the fuzzy fruit is growing in the jungle. And fuzzy fruit is known to cure magic pet flu. I think I see it. And Dr. Abraham. Dr. Abraham is in the jungle? Uh, hello there. Can I help you with something? Telefox has the magic pet flu and needs some fuzzy fruit to cure him. I think Papa Jungle can help with that, right? Telefox feels better already. 
It was very lucky to find you in the jungle, Dr. Abraham. The jungle? <laughs> this is the Garden Papa Jungle Maid, right behind the hospital. I guess you brought us to the hospital after all, Telefox. <sighs> oh, I'm sure they were here. <sighs> Don't worry, kids. I'll get to you, you ass. This is an object swapper. It can swap the locations of objects, like this. Wow! That's amazing! This is going to make my work so much easier. It was actually quite a challenge to create such a fine piece of work. We need to get our hands on that zapper, Yorn. Yeah, Stein. It will make our work much easier, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the mess I made. You wouldn't believe it. I couldn't even reach my infinity calculation device because, well, it had fallen behind the couch. I reached, it reached. Let's give this little thingy a test run. Let's give my quantum turbine a minute. It was actually quite a challenge. Piece of work, <laughs> as you can probably imagine. Oh, dear. Bye-bye now. <laughs> We need to catch them, Morphle. Morph into a race car. Hey, Yorn. This little button says random. Press it, Stein. What in the... Wow, it can swap anything. Stop it, you bandits. Bye-bye, hmm. Mila and Morphle. <laughs> to the city quickly. What are the odds? Great work, you guys. I think that zapper could make my work much easier. Uh. Professor, we're playing Space Pirate Adventures, but something's wrong. Hmm, let's have a look. Every time we're about to get the treasure, this happens. Oh, I see what the problem is. It seems to have a bug. What's a bug? A bug. 
bug is a small mistake in the game that prevents you from finishing this level. I know how to fix it. <laughs> you and Morphle have to go inside the game and defeat the bug. If you go stand over, let's see, uh, here, I'll make sure you end up in the game. Good luck! I think we need to go over there. That's where the end of the level is. the level. And Morphle, I have to say, you make my life very easy. <laughs> Look at him. Our life would be easy too if we had Morphle. Yeah, Stein. I think we could be the mayor if we had Morphle. No. We could be kings, Yorn. Kings! We could tell Morphle to morph into anything we want. <sighs> yeah, that would be the life. <sighs> and the next subject paying tribute is the former mayor. Uh, I offer you uh, my golden chain, my kings. Morphle, morph into a monkey and bring me that chain, will you? Is that all? I expected more. Oh, um, take this puppy as well. I like it. Okay, you're done. Oh, thank you. Morphle, morph into a big lion and walk us around town. When I grow up, I want to be a king too. Dream on, kid. Hold it right there. Oh, will you look at that? It's Mila. Go away, Mila. Nobody likes you. Yeah, Mila. Stop blocking the road or I'm going to have to take you to jail. You are not kings. You're bandits. And I'm 
here to stop you. <laughs> so what are you going to do? With this bracelet from Professor Rashid, I'll be able to morph as well. All right, that's it. Make a stop, Morphle. Morph into a T-Rex, Morphle. The strangest dream. Me too. Morpho was our friend, but then Mila came and, and they, they both, both got, got really, really big. big. Stein? I don't want to be king anymore. Me neither, Jorn. Me. Thank you so much for taking care of these scary animals while the zoo is under construction. No problem at all, Kenneth. They're not so scary once you get to know them. Morphle, morph into a truck. They already feel at home. Have they gone completely mad, Barky? You can't keep scary animals in a backyard. They're far too dangerous. I guess they're going to have to learn it the hard way. going on here? Why are you fighting? All right then. a good idea to bring the animals here, Daddy. Uh, maybe you're right. If they behave bad again, we'll have to bring them back to Zookeeper Kenneth. Let's give them some food. Maybe they'll calm down. <laughs> what are you going to do, silly animals? No, no, help! Barky, wait for me, Barky! Ah! Oh no! We have to save him, Morpho! Morph into a house! Okay, morph into a truck with a cage, Morpho. Animals, 
Why do you keep doing bad things? Because they're very bad animals. Victory is mine. Hey, stop it. Have you been teasing them all this time? And so what? They're scary animals. Look at this. That's great, Troy. Ah! Oh, I can't get out. Morpho, help it, Troy. Yeah, but how? Morpho, morph into a helicopter. That way, you won't get stuck in the bushes. Phew! Thank you, Morphle. Oh! We've got to go, Morphle. Our class is going on a trip today. I'll tell you all about it when we get back. Okay, bye, Mila. Morphle, can you help me out? Uh, okay. I was working on fixing this hole in the road when our painter just drove into it. I was just driving, and all of a sudden, my steering wheel was gone, and I drove straight into this hole. And now I can't get out anymore. Oh, no! My, my, Morpho, help! No, you, no, far in the hole again. Uh... Morpho? Morpho, good helper! No, huh? <clears throat> the control wheel of my plane isn't here either. Where could it have gone? Morpho, help and you get it done! Whoa! Morpho? Morpho! Oh, no! It's the bandits! We're not just the bandits. We're the steering wheel bandits! <laughs> oh, no. Without my steering wheel, I can't steer. And we'll hit a tree for sure. Oh. Ah, I don't want to get stuck in plants again. Morpho! Uh-oh! Control wheel! Great! Can't you okay? It was a bit chilly up there, but I've never seen the city from up there. I've got so much inspiration for my next painting. <sighs> I'm really tired, Morpho. Morpho, too. Can you help me get up to our bed, Morpho? <laughs> Thank you, Morpho. Morpho, good helper. <laughs> Do you need some help, Daddy? Morpho can morph into all sorts of tools. That would be great. Whew, building this shed is a lot of work. Morpho, morph into a 
hammer. Wow, this looks great, Morphle. It's a little small, though. Don't worry, we can make it bigger. Right, Morphle? Okay, then I will start painting the inside. Ah, this is perfect. <sighs> Time for a little break. Hmm, let's add another story, Morphle. That way, Daddy has even more space. What are you doing? We're building a shed. It's going to be the best shed ever. If it's going to be the best shed ever, it needs a slide. And a balcony. <gasps> You're right. Lookout tower for if there are pirates. A swing would be nice. And the clubhouse. I think it needs to be higher. But we have used up all the wood. Let's get some more. Morphle, morph into a dump truck. Morphle, morph into a logging machine and cut those trees. Let's bring them back to the shed. Okay, Morphle. Now build the shed as high as you can make it. more like it. Yay! Now it's the best shed ever. Hmm. It still feels like something's missing. <sighs> what happened? Daddy, what do you think of your new shed? <laughs> Get me down from here. <sighs> We forgot to build a ladder. Don't worry, Daddy. We're on the job. Morphle, let's go get some more wood. No! Don't leave me alone. Mila? Morphle? Are you still there? 